You're muted. Still can't hear you, cat. Also, Sean, what's that noise? Sorry, I'm watching Josie's dog for a couple days. I think this should be working now. I can hear you now, Kat. Good. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining our first team meeting. OK, this does not seem to be working. Um, let's just meet tomorrow in person and we can discuss. Thank you all for meeting today after yesterday's technological mishaps. Uh, where's Josh? Uh, I think he disconnected before you before you heard the announcement. Did anybody send him a memo? Uh-uh, no. Antonio, could you please contact Josh and let him know that we have a meeting and to get here as soon as possible? We'll just catch him up when he arrives. So first up on the docket is... increasing our efforts to attract better and younger minds to our company. Personally, I believe that the best way to address this is offering candy with job applications attached to on our front desk and only give it to children below the age of 12. What do we think? Yep. Sounds good. I'm glad we all agree. Next. Increasing our profit margins and bringing extra capital into the company. The best way to fix this problem would be investing in a new business model where we initially invest in small companies with little economic reach, then get our customers in at a higher price and make profit from offloading all of our stock and reporting the difference as profit. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. No worries, we'll just catch you up later. The final topic of discussion is how we can better promote diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts in our company. So this is easily my absolute best idea. Instituting a company-wide open door policy by removing all doors, including our emotional ones and especially our bathroom ones. No one and no longer does anyone need to be feeling vulnerable when asking your neighbor for a pen or apply. We are a family company.